Okay, so what I'm going to try and do today is we're going to have a look at building a concrete tilt-up panel project using the precast tools inside of Revit. Now, tilt-up panels are essentially the same as tilt up, uh, as precast with just some minor differences. But before we get started, we need to build our levels um, to allow us to create those. So typically I'd come into my north level and you can see I already got a couple of levels here, but let's say we've got this uh, first level here. Let's say this is my top of concrete or even uh, better. Let's go top of boarding. Okay, um, we might want to create a couple more levels, so we can use the create similar option, choose a level above that concrete area. So let's just say we want to create one in this direction, or we come into here and, you know, maybe we create one this way. And then maybe we want to come in and create another one just a little bit higher, which might be the, uh, the same distance on the other side. So we'll call this uh, low wall, for example, and rename, and call this one high wall, and rename. And we need to then start building, and you can see these levels are being created here under my structural plans as well. We need to then create some grids to match this. So under our structure, we come over to grids, and we place our grids accordingly. One, and we probably should change that name first. So let's go start with grid one, and then we'll create, again, right click, create similar, and choose our spacing for our grids. And you can see it just continues on with the numbering and everything's just automatically snapping from one to the next. Obviously, I can always go and use the copy option where I can say copy finish selection and then do the same sort of copying, you know, maybe more along and so on. We need to do this in all directions, right? So if I was to create now my first grid in this direction, obviously I want this to be, let's say A, so we double click, make that A. And now when we do create similar in this direction, you know, whether we start from this end or whether we start from this end, it doesn't really matter you can see that the grids are now following each other um, uh, from one to the other. Now the important thing to note is if we go back to our north elevation, you'll see I can see all my grids inside and outside in all the different elevations. So one thing I want to do is just drag all this so that it's outside of each other, so that no matter which view I take, um, all those planes, all those grids, doesn't matter, they're all going to be the same. If we look in the west direction, okay, we probably need some more here, so let's grab the end of this one here, drag this out, and then off you go. One of the cool things here is, when you do grab this grid, if you change this value, say make it three meters, it increases that level by three meters, and that will then increase it everywhere as well. Again, being a subtle difference to AutoCAD. Okay, so here's my grid system that I've actually created for this particular demonstration. You can see I've got my number grids on one side, letter grids on the other, and I've got all my levels for my top of concrete, top of footing, top of roller doors, top of the high side of the wall, the low side of the wall, all that has been created ready for me to use.